the only person I did trust at the time for my body was God. Yeah. Well, I guess like I started this little like thing with my cousin. So when you say that like something started with your cousin on vacation, what was that? This little like competition kind of thing, like with like no eating like certain things, and okay. if you did, then you get points. Okay. But um, so we did that for like month or two before school started and then we like dropped it but I guess for her she dropped it more so than me mm. and then yeah I just kept going I guess like I started beginning to see myself differently and view like food in a different way and then that kind of sparked something in me and I guess mm. then I just started to not let it go I guess so, were you trying to, like, did you think you were needing to lose weight or just want to be more healthy? No, I, I guess at the time, I just, when I started it, it didn't even, like, really affect me. Like, I didn't, never, like, viewed myself like I needed to. It wasn't mm. really for me mm. at the beginning. And then I guess just afterwards, I liked the way that, or I felt like it was making me look different. Okay. After, like, just after a while or so, and then I guess it just like, then I started to do things like I need to be healthier, and eventually it became unhealthy. Yeah, so you were kind of more focused on how you were feeling and health rather than your size. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what did it make you feel that, you know, you thought, oh, I want to keep doing this? Probably feeling healthier or just, and like, I think just trying to like fit and like make look good for like society, I guess. Okay, like, yeah. Because that's what everyone did, I guess. Okay, okay. But when did it grow into a problem? Like, when, when did you, did you realize it was, or was it your mom um, and dad? I mean, I, I've never heard of the eating disorder before. Like, I felt like something was different because I felt like I needed to work out or like, like after I ate or something like I'd have to like burn okay. it off or something. Yeah. So I guess that was kind of a problem but like eventually as I started to like um, restrict then I guess I thought I was just being healthy like mm. eating less. Yeah then I started to like isolate myself from family. Yeah. And then I felt like it was more of a problem. Yeah. So when did when did you realize like something was different about Macy? Probably Kim more so than me, but yeah, we seen like she said, isolation. Mm -hmm. Like if we were at the dinner table and yeah, she wouldn't want to eat mm -hmm. what we were eating and and yeah, she'd go leave the table and Go down to her bedroom and just kind of lock herself away from mm -hmm. us. And yeah. every time at dinner, or just you know, I mean, I think you know, Lexi could speak to it too. I mean, they were you know very close, mm -hmm. as you know, they would get ready in the bathroom together, mm -hmm. and it was uh, no big deal. And then all of a sudden, it was no okay. more. Okay. Yeah. Macy would get ready by herself. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm keep Lexi out of the bathroom mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah it was just it became isolation and, and isolation from us isolation from eating with us um, no I thought she was depressed okay honestly. yeah yeah I thought that's what we were dealing with yeah so what did you do Kim you probably trying to get close um, to her and figure out what's going on and yeah um, we tried to set up an appointment with a counselor, and that took weeks mm. to get in somewhere, and yeah, really to no avail. Mm. So, yeah, we eventually ended up at the pediatrician, okay. and then, yeah. So are you losing weight at this point, you may say? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I, I guess I could tell probably, but didn't think too much about it okay. and it was I feel like it was fall going into winter mm -hmm. so she had a lot of baggy clothes yeah. on mm -hmm. she always mm -hmm. wore baggy mm -hmm. clothes right well and I would um, say 
one of the biggest things too was, I mean, you were playing, I think you were playing basketball at that time, mm -hmm. and you could just see out on the, on the court, like mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. the loss of uh, muscle, and energy. muscle, energy, energy. Um, mm -hmm. You know, she would break down uh -huh. out on the court a little bit just because I think she could tell she was. She didn't have the stamina and the, like she used to, so. Uh, so it was fall of your seventh grade year. And then, uh, so it was probably January, January she ended up in the hospital. So just uh, over a season, really, yeah. four or five months? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did you know you'd had to get to the hospital? What was the alarm there? Um, I remember the, um, pediatrician holding her wrist, listening to her heartbeat, mm -hmm. and her saying, looking at me and saying, I'm so sorry, but we have to admit her. And I think him and I still did not know what we were dealing with here. I really automatically always thought she was like depressed, mm -hmm. like just something was, yeah. she just couldn't get out of it. Um, were they feeding you? Were they trying to yeah. nourish yeah. you? And, you know? So what? that's what, it, yeah, that was the... They call it the refeeding process. Okay, okay. Which, um, you still have to be very careful. Because mm. when you're restricting for so long, um, you have to be careful as you refeed. Yeah. Okay. Well, from there we went to, um, Forest View. Uh, oh, yeah. So what is that? Mm -hmm. Is that an inpatient or an outpatient? So inpatient, you, you yeah. stay in... And it's focused on not just the physical, maybe, but talking to you as well. To, yeah, yeah. It's, there's like therapy, and but there was all different kind of like mental illness, like mm. people there. So yeah. it wasn't very centered on okay. like eating disorders. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you did that. She did the program at Forest View for a week, okay. and then after that, then it was um, weekly appointments with a dietitian, a therapist. Weekly weigh-ins, mm -hmm. every week. You making progress at this point, or is it? Um, oh yeah. Physically. Okay. Physically. Okay. I felt like once I got out, I started like we were on a meal plan from after Forest View, which I hated, but yeah. So I felt like those are. I started like doing that, but I tried to like gain control over that. Yeah. And like restricted where I could on the meal plan, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of fell apart, I guess. So I'm losing weight again? Or? Yeah. yeah. And, and what, where were you, like, spiritually in this, Macy? Are you praying? Are you... Um, I was angry with God. Oh, were you? I, I... I mean, I felt like I still... It definitely helped me grow my faith, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was kind of mad. <laughs> and didn't really understand why. Because here you are in your young teens, it should be you know happiest time of your life, yeah. and and yet you're going through so much pain. And know? I didn't really want to like you know, if they like someone would give me a verse or read me a verse. I don't. I think I just didn't want to hear it. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like adding to the pain sometimes. Yeah, yeah. it just made me angry. You, know, you you end up going back to going to this place in Indiana. Yes. And what happens there? What do you, what, how do they try and help you there? Prior to that, she had texted her um, counselor because she had her number, so she could text okay. at different times if she needed to. Mm. Um, but she had told her that um, heaven sounded a lot better. Mm. Um, mm. And then mm. she had tried to call us at the time, and um, we were kind of shut all our phones off at the time. Um, and we're having a family meeting, I guess, you could call it. Because, yeah, I felt like we were at a crossroads. The cop showed up to our house. And, uh, yeah, fire department, local fire department. And the, the one just really was just very sincere and just, you know, just telling her that, you know, she's special and that God loved her. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, yeah, to hear that from uh, you know a cop or the police, you know, and it was I thought pretty special moment. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's what led to oh, yeah. Yeah. Sailor House. Yeah. Sailor House is um, how would you describe that, Macy? Um, the house is big, um, lots of, like, bedrooms and stuff. It was, yeah, a lot nicer. I mean, obviously I didn't want to be there, but once I, like, settled in after a while, because I was there for two months, Two probably. months, yeah. mm -hmm. Um, once I, like, settled in, like, I mean, looking back now, like, it was really nice. Mm -hmm. and, what yeah. happened during the day there? Um... We wake up, get um, vitals, and then like get ready for the day, like dress, brush teeth, whatever you need to do before, because you can't really go up to your rooms during the day then mm. until night. Mm. And then uh, we'd like have breakfast, then do um, a group meeting or like a group session, like therapy session. Then all the time. So is it mainly folks in education, like teaching you what's happening and your body? Yeah, a lot of like therapy and stuff but helpful yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i felt like it was helpful yeah yeah, and then yeah i think we and felt like the spiritual piece was missing yeah at, at each place mm -hmm. she went to mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. um and then we hit a um crossroads where we quit a licensed counselor and mm -hmm. dietitian and just because for lack of a better term, ordinary people just came up and supported her okay. and okay. stepped into that role as mm. um, as a mentor, um, as a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just I mean, the, the people that are not getting paid. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just caring, caring, loving. loving, and they are just there all the time really for you. Yeah, I mean, they, she, yeah, she texted them all the time. We finally just, yeah, we quit going to weigh-ins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And actually it was just a relief. Okay, okay, less intense. Mm -hmm. You must have welcomed that. You yeah. must have liked that. Yeah, I, I felt like with the, with like the people I was going, I was seeing instead of um, my therapist and like the registered dietitian or whatever, I just felt like it was more of like support and just like talking and like, because like I felt like you could hear some of like their story and mm. I mean, I, it wasn't like all about me and okay. everything. Like it Not wasn't focused on me. I felt like it was more of like, just like support and talking to each other instead of just like, like angled on me and like that's interesting the way you put things. that yeah yeah like, what can you do like to get better and stuff like yeah. that and i felt like hanging out with them is more a retreat from like my eating yeah. disorder because yeah i didn't like talking about it yeah. and stuff so I felt like it was more nice to just get away and yeah it's just like it becomes almost an obsession just yeah. fully occupying everything and I suppose so not denying it, but shrinking it yeah. by filling it with people, with the Lord, with ordinary life. Mm -hmm. kind of you didn't want to just have to just everything point towards yeah, cause I my eating it. disorder. Yeah. And, and yeah, okay. Like you could just talk. So there's a good piece of advice for people who are wanting to help. You don't need to talk about the problem right. exactly. all the time because you're more than the problem. Mm -hmm. Right? You can't be defined by this. It's a part of you. At times a big part of you, but never the whole of you. And I, I loved the way you put that there. Just, you would think focusing on you would be a help. Yeah. And yet you're saying actually the opposite. Not ignoring you, and, yeah. but getting into a much better balance of, yeah, this is me, but who are you? And what's your life doing? And mm -hmm. 
I will say too, we had support from others that have been through it too. Okay, so so how did that you, was great for us. Was that in a support group or more informal? Just just informal. Okay. And really, from people that we had no idea that, that right? they had a child going through it, right. or had gone through it. Yeah. But yeah, that was great support mm. for us. Mm. You know, and maybe it was just a dinner out or. Texting between a mom to a mom. Yeah. That was that was great. Right. Yeah. So, anything at church help you through this? Like, was was worship a help? Was being um, with others, or do you just want to be alone? And... Music helped a lot. Yeah. Like different songs spoke to me more. We just used music and you know Christian music and and like I said certain songs just jumped out and just really helped us cope. Uh, Mountain of God by Third Day, the, the way that, you know, I thought that I was alone, broken and afraid, but you are here with me. And I think it, I think it calmed, calmed you at the time. Yeah. Like, and, and it was really cool too, as we had, you know, some really cool nurses that like we were playing some oh, song okay. or music yeah. and I remember the one singing to one oh, of the really? songs yeah. too, so. Or um, Wonderfully Made by Ellie Holcomb. That yeah. one mom played for me too. Wonderfully Made? Yeah. I don't think I've heard that one. Well, I think it's kind of old, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I'll look at it. And as we go through this, just how God is orchestrating this whole thing and just, you just, yeah. It's yeah. not what what we do, it's what he's doing through us. Yeah. Right? So yeah, it's quite something how by the grace of God he just like I got this. Yeah. Like Yeah. Like without your sister at home it must have felt very hollow, did it? Was, yeah. It was weird like going to school and just not thinking and she was at school and yeah. she was somewhere else. And I just wished like I could do anything to help her. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Owen? What was your response to this? I was confused, just seeing her and my mom in tears all the time, uh, just knowing what's wrong with her, just a lot going through my brain. Yeah, and yet you couldn't help. You kind of feel helpless, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. How was your faith going through this? What Did you find it a struggle or a strengthening time? Um, I would say I found that a strengthening time. Yeah. It was just so, so cool to see like how brave like she is. Uh, yeah. Like seeing how God was with her like this yeah. whole time. I love the way you frame that. I think so often, you know, the people go through an eating disorder or depression or anxiety and they get blamed. You know, people always try to blame what you know. It's your fault and you got instead of seeing them as the bravest, most courageous people. I, mean, I think I've said this in the pulpit before. My biggest heroes in, in the church are those who battle through mental illness, mm -hmm. eating disorder, because they're holding on to God mm -hmm. when they have no help. Yeah. Inside, outside, it's like you're clinging on with your fingernail um, on the edge of a cliff. That takes just enormous faith and courage. We know that this wasn't brought on by, you know, by us or... Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the benefit of us coming out, so we coming out or we let the church know. <laughs> yeah, the benefit far outweighed, yeah. you know, any... I mean, we had so much support. Uh, yeah. Mace got a ton of cards. Did she? Uh, yeah. And so did we. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty cool to see how the church came around us and well, what would you say to people who are have have a loved one going through a time with an eating disorder or some other similar impactful suffering? What what's helpful, what's unhelpful? Macy, maybe you can answer. What did you find helpful or what did you find unhelpful? 
I mean, obviously when I was gone, um, like the cards and everything that kind of like encouraged me a lot. I mean, I kind of felt, I mean, I was kind of nervous to come home and like, like be in front of all of them knowing that they knew every, like I was gone. But I mean, being away, like cards and like gifts and all that, that like, I mean, you're gone and obviously it's not the same. So like those like little notes just kind of helped a lot. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I could speak to one thing, you know, as we, as she talked about how her faith was growing and, and I think all of us were, but uh, the, the thing that really st stuck out was even at, like Forest View, um, you know, she was one on the younger side, mm -hmm. but her spiritual maturity was what I think jumped out to so many of them. And, and when we left Sela, um, they kind of have a send off or whatever. And, you know, they make relationships yeah. there. And, and um, the, the one thing that just, you know, you could be proud of as a dad is to think through this, her, her faith grew and it, and, it, yeah. and it spoke to others. Like her story is going to change yeah. other stories and, right. and, it, and, it, and it was already, right? Right. It was doing right. it there. Yes. With those girls, like, yeah. like they, that was what was spoken about her, just how her faith and spoke to them there. You know, at a young age, and you're just, it was very cool to hear. And In the midst of all this whirling, there's a, this beautiful seed that's becoming a plant, that's becoming a branch, a tree. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've only known you, Lexi, for, uh, Macy, sorry, for <laughs> um, a year and a half, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I would agree with your, like, the maturity of faith, I see in you the settledness, the peacefulness. It's beautiful, yeah. It's, it's amazing what God has done through this ugly time. He's created such a beautiful thing. As you've been through a, just incredible spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing. I'm sure you didn't realize fully at the time, but as you look back more and more, I'm sure you, you realize what a battle mm -hmm. you were in and all, all the ways God, God helped you. Looking back, like, no amount, like, I could, no amount of the, like, therapy or what anyone, like, told me, I guess, like, was helping me heal. I think ultimately once, like, I started getting, like, growing in my relationship with God, that's when I started to heal.